Hello, welcome to my channel again. Today we have Lico 55 drum game. This is a really famous um, the DP questions. So the question is, given an array of non-negative integer nums, you are initially positioned at the first index of the array. Each element in the array represented your maximum jump length at that position. So determine if you are able to reach the last index. So the example one, the so input nums, you can see two is right here. Two can jump one and two. So when you can jump two step, the first step you can jump is jump the next location. In this location, you have three step you can jump. Then I will jump one, two, three, and then we will reach to the end of the um, index. So that is true. So that is first example. And second example is now we are at the beginning of the array. We have three steps we can jump. So now we can jump here, here, and here. So here, um, this last index is not working because if you from this location jump to this location, there's no step for, for it to jump further. So if that the first location jump to second location and you can jump to this location or this location. We already know this location is not working. And also this location is not working because this location can jump to next location, which is also end up in the last second index. Um, there's no way you can jump to the last index. So in this case is we turn false. So the idea of this one, I can draw it out. Um, we're gonna use um, um, max in that, oh, sorry, it's max distance. So we have the max in, in the distance when we set send and on this location, we have two, which is this number right here. That means at this location, the max distance you can travel is two steps further. So um, now we check if this location is okay or not. So after we move further, when we reach to this location, before we move to this location, we need to deduct this by one because when you move next, your max distance will reduce by one. So at this location, the original two will become one. So you have one more step to go further to this location. But also when you move to the new location, you also check the current location number to compare which one's bigger. So now you have three steps you can move and original max distance is one. So three is bigger than one. So at this case, we update it this max distance to three. And then we just keep moving. If we move to this location, uh, when we move to this location, this max distance will be deducted by two, be deducted by one, so become two right here. So now we have max distance as two, this current number is one, so we don't replace max distance. And we keep moving to here, Max distance is one. One and one is the same. That's fine. We keep moving to this location. Max distance is zero, but we are already at the last, last location. So it will return true. Yeah, that's the basic idea of this um, solution. So let's take a look at the code now. So at first, um, we will have index max distance. It's not index, sorry. It's um, uh, int will be nums zero. So next thing we're gonna have a for loop that loop through the whole entire array. I less than nums dot length. So. <clears throat> We, first, we have to check is if i is the last index or not. If i is equal to 
num sort length minus one, which is the last index, then we return true right away because it's already reached to the last index. Next cases we need to care is if max in distance is equal to zero. So that means you have no longer have step to um, reach anymore. So that means you don't have any uh, quota to move forward. So at that location, we also need to check if nums i is equal to zero. So if you cannot go anymore and the current location have zero step at that location to move forward, then at that case is a false case. Now, next situation will be, you need to update the max distance. So now max distance and this one is not zero. Then we check if nums i is bigger than max distance or not. If that's the case, max distance is equal to nums i. So we place that. So after we place, every time before we finish that current location, we deducted max distance by one. So um, we can know um, for the next step, we will have less distance to move. So we can do it at the end, just deduct by one before we move for the next uh, index. At that case, at the end, then we can just yeah, have a default false statement right here. And that will be for this question. So now we'll run this code right, one more time. So the test case pass, submitted. Cool, and that's it for this uh, solution. If you have any question, please comment below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.